Well, hello you guys and welcome to my channel. So I feel like I've been pretty MIA the month of April, so I apologize for that. But today I'm recording my mid-April flex video. And in addition, I'm going to tackle a challenge that has been requested. I get a good amount of challenge requests in the comments, which is awesome. I love to read them. Some, I'm like, I can totally do that. Other challenge requests, I'm like, mm, that's a little silly. I don't know if I really want to do that. But today, I'm going to do the how many push-ups can I do challenge. Um, seems pretty straightforward and pretty easy, and I can do it in the comfort of my condo. So I'm going to tackle that one. But first, I'm going to do just a little flexing. So unfortunately, I have not been able to hit the gym or my arms this entire week so I feel like they're getting smaller by the day although I know that's not the case but that's just kind of how I feel um, I am used to going to the gym at least once a week and kind of trying to hit it pretty hard I've been pretty good at my at-home workouts but I feel like they're not the same when I'm trying to bulk up um, it helps when I'm trying to keep things toned but since I'm trying to bulk up I feel like I need really heavy weights and just stuff that's at the gym I'm looking at myself through the little side camera here and I am pretty pasty. So it's April, I feel like I've been hibernating all winter long and it's definitely starting to show. The other day my husband, I was wearing pretty much a tank top and he went on vacation on a boys trip. So he got a little sun, he's a little tanned. So he looks at me and he's like, you are so white. I'm like, I know, I need some sun in my life. So we're going to San Diego. In a couple of weeks, we are headed to sunny California. Very excited. We're taking the kiddo. And I'm actually very nervous. He's flown plenty of times. But now I feel like he's so much more vocal and that he knows he has a voice and he's not afraid to use it. So I'm very, very afraid that he's gonna be that toddler that's just like screaming on the plane because he wants to be like running around and we're like, no, you have to sit down. So if anybody out there, actually, I'm gonna take advantage of this. If anybody out there has good experience with traveling with a toddler, two-year-old, let's just assume he's already two, um, what do you guys suggest? Any good tips? What should I take? It's gonna be a long flight from here to Cali, so I'm very, very nervous. But I'm not gonna think about it too much. I'm just gonna roll with the punches. But any tips, I will greatly appreciate them. So the measurement video will be coming in a couple of weeks. I'm not gonna do any measurements today. Today is just flexing and the challenge. left are there it's just the lighting that doesn't really quite show them but it is what it is um what else what else um what else what else oh i'm kind of i don't know what else to do you guys i'm not very good at flexing the traps not very flattering body and I'm gonna move on to the lower body and I'm gonna be very honest here the abs are probably gone by now it's about 1 30 in the afternoon and I did have a pretty large breakfast and lunch so should I just move on to the legs I don't know I'm gonna show you guys the abs very briefly because honestly 
there is not much to see today unfortunately and then i'm going to move on to the legs and then a little knee flexing and then i'm going to tackle on the challenge so let's keep moving abs like i said not much to see here um that's it that's it you guys the large breakfast and my lunch are definitely showing but that's okay if you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm going to put it right here. Sometimes I tend to post the ads when they decide to make an appearance. It's on a day-by-day -day basis. They're not always there, but they do tend to show up once in a while. Leg time! that was the flexing portion of the video my kiddo just woke up from his nap and I feel like a terrible mom letting him scream in there while I finish recording my video but I still do need to do my challenge so I'm gonna go get him and then I'm going to do the challenge with him just roaming around so things are just gonna get a little loud and a little noisy but that's okay that's my life be back sure I'm actually not sure if this is the best angle but this is what I'm going to try first I am going to use two dumbbells to hang on to um, it makes it easier on the wrists so for those of you who struggle to do push-ups or have sore wrists afterwards using dumbbells is very very helpful all right let's give this a try and i really want to hold it here and of course mr milo just hanging out So that was the second round and I did 13 and that's pretty average for me. Um, I feel like I can do between 12 and 15 consecutive push-ups. Um, I think if I take a break, do a few more, I can once again hit 12 to 13. Um, but I do, I am trying to work on them and I want to be able to easily hit 20. I think it's totally doable. I just have to do more push-ups. I don't do as many as I should. I do a lot of curls and a lot of chin-ups. Oops, sorry, my mouth. Um, but not, not enough push-ups. 
I would like to know how many you guys can do so please leave me a comment below letting me know your average number all right you guys we We'll let you go, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye. This is what happens when I hit the floor. He thinks it's playtime.